being a member of the same political party doesn't necessarily mean you see eye to eye on everything. So just how much room is there for disagreement? Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan have spent a lot of time in the past few weeks trying to square their views on everything from the budget to women's health care. And they also insist it's okay to have a difference of opinion. Joining me is Florida Senate candidate and current congressman, Connie Mack, the fourth. He'll speak at the convention on Thursday. Also with me, his wife, California Republican Congresswoman Mary Bono Mack. We were actually talking about all the different various rivalries. Florida and California have a rivalry that you're going to lose that. The state of Florida just has ocean you can swim in. But, you know, I, I deal with David Gregory, a Californian. But, uh, Congresswoman, let me start with you. We, we talked about the women's health. I want I understand you have, you're not comfortable with the party's platform. Do you think the party's platform on abortion uh, is, is harmful to this issue of the gender gap? Well, that's not the reason that I disagree with it. I just, you know, am who I am. But I do wish that we would sort of move to a softer side of the platform. But, you know, it's the same platform we've had year after year, every four years. Mm -hmm. It hasn't changed. And I just continue to be who I am and to fight for what I believe in. And, and uh, I think that we would be better served uh, if we loosen that up a bit. Do you think the party sort of risks having this debate? You know, sometimes the debate was about which trimester abortion could be legal. And now it's about whether it should be legal with rape. I mean, think that the Republican Party, that, that Todd A can move the debate to the wrong place? Well, look, I think what the important debate ought to be right now is about jobs and the economy. I think that's number one. You know, when I go out and speak to my constituents, that's what they're talking about is jobs and the economy. And I think Congress should reflect what the people are talking about. So in that case, you know, we don't sit around and, and parse abortion. And, and I think that's a pretty difficult place for political discussion anyway. I think we ought to be talking about things we can really affect, and that would be jobs and the economy. Congressman Mack, where are you on this part of the platform? by the way. Do you guys disagree on this part of the platform? You know, I am I'm pro-life, but I do believe that uh, in the cases of uh, rape and incest, uh, that there needs to be exceptions uh, in the, the life of the mother. So, you know, like Mary said, the platform is what it is, uh, but we're individual candidates who have our own thoughts and, and ideas, and uh, what makes this country great is we can have differences of ideas uh, and thoughts. But we bring them together, we, we put that out to the people of the state of Florida or California or the country, and they get to make a decision. I, I remember there was a little bit of a controversy about the Ryan budget, and you had said you didn't, you didn't vote on it the second time, and there was one report that said you didn't vote on it because you didn't think it went far enough, and there was another, and so there was this idea, were you against the second Ryan budget or not? What's well, what, what I said is that I would have, if I was there, I would have voted against it. Um, what I'm looking for is... Uh, and, we, and why? Explain well, why you would have voted against it. Look, I think there are a lot of the reforms that, that Ryan has put out are, are good reforms, uh, but we need to balance our budget, and we need to do it in a, not in 28 years, but we need to do it in under 10 years, uh, and we can do it. I, I think about my son, who's nine years old, and um, you know, if we have a plan that doesn't balance for 28 years, he's going to go to high school, go to college, graduate get married, have a job, start planning for the future of his kids before we balance our budget. We can do better than that. Oh, Congresswoman Mack, what do you make of this? Uh, you voted for the Ryan budget both times. And yet the Romney campaign is sort of doing this one attack on Medicare that attacks the president for cutting Medicare. And yet isn't that the same thing that a lot of Republicans have advocated over the years, which is slowing the growth of Medicare? I yeah. think it's a it's a mistake, sort of an ideological off key message to send. I'm frustrated right now with the whole tone of this debate. Look, we as Americans need to agree on this fundamental basic fact, and that is Medicare is going to go broke. And you know, start from that premise. You know, if we have some real bipartisanship in Congress where we talked about that fundamental truth that I think Americans believe in wholeheartedly, and then built outwardly from that. There has been no discussion between the White House and the Congress on a real path forward. You know, and I don't believe Americans are really I think there, this, this is noise now about $719 billion taken out of Medicare to go to Obamacare. I think the American people are asking for answers to this problem. We need to put somebody forward who has a plan, and at least you can have the discussion between the White House and the Congress and really addresses the problem. But I'm annoyed that people are refusing to admit the very basic fact that it's going to go bankrupt if we continue on the path that we're on. Uh, when you two disagree on a vote, how does that go? He's wrong. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> Is that right? Is that why you're really running for Senate? Yeah, it's really no more, no more vote disagreements? No, no, no. We, you know, we do have our disagreements. Uh, she represents very well her, uh, her constituents in California, and, uh, and we do have disagreements. Is it fair to say you're more moderate, you're more conservative? Is, if you were to put you guys on a Republican ideological chart, if you will? I don't know. I, it depends on 
the issue and how things are cast. You know, but I, I think what like Connie's trying to say is, yeah. is that we not only represent different constituencies, we do have different life experiences and different backgrounds, and we come to, you know, our conclusions our way. But, you know, my brother gave us some very important advice when we got married, and that is, we, you know, you can either choose to be right or you can be happy. So when we do disagree, I'm a happy we, man. <laughs> we just. There you go. It. That's what the country's trying to figure out, right? With the compromise, anyway. Congress, uh, woman, Matt, Congressman Matt, thank you both for coming on.